What's up guys, welcome to Mac Presents My Edible Cookie Dough Recipe. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and today I'm gonna show you how to make cookie dough that you don't have to bake, you can eat it, it's delicious, and it's safe. So, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> so cool. Uh, 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 I'm embarrassed. You can't eat cookie dough? All right, to start, we're gonna cream our butter and our two sugars. I have brown sugar and I have white sugar here. Why do you have to use both kinds of sugar? Because it's delicious. <laughs> Put the sugars in here. Oh, this guy. Why does brown sugar always do that? It's got molasses in it. There we go. Is that a thing? Yeah. Did Brandon just get it right? So normally when you are making cookies, you want to cream this like crazy. So it's super like light and fluffy and you add your eggs to it. We don't really have to do that because this is just edible cookie dough, but I'm still going to give it some sort of aeration. So we're going to like cream for a little bit. It smells so good already. Already smells like cookie dough. Do you guys like to eat cookie dough? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hate, hate it. Why? Because I love cookies. Uh... And to me, they're not, when you eat, Raw cookie dough, they're just not done to me. Yeah, I'm a I, baker. I go buy those Pillsbury like sausage tubes of cookie dough and sit under a tree and eat it like a carrot. You it's, not, it's not safe. It's not safe. Like a carrot. I feed, I feed so it to a horse like a carrot. It's so gross. It's cookie dough. No, the point is you cannot eat cookie dough like that because you can get salmonella. You can get all kinds of stuff. Even flour is a raw ingredient. When you're doing a recipe like this, you have to use heat treated flour. If you can't find that, you take your flour, spread it out on a pan. 350 degrees, five minutes. We'll kill all the bacteria. Bet you didn't know that. No. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a scrape. All right. So now, on low speed, lower. This thing doesn't have a low. It really doesn't. So I'm just gonna turn it off and we're gonna add our heat treated flour. Okay, this is gonna go everywhere, hold on. It doesn't have, it, <laughs> it says stir. That's not a stir. It's like Sylvester Stallone was stirring. So now we're we'll add, cookie dough. <laughs> we're gonna add our Madagascar bourbon vanilla. And here's the kicker. Add a little bit of maple extract. Maple? Yes. Now it's gonna start getting really thick. So now we basically have like an edible sugar cookie dough. Still delicious, but we're gonna add stuff to it. So I've got chocolate chips. Yep. I've got chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah. I've got sea salt caramels. Oh God, yeah. I've got peanut butter cups. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do we think? Just my like... favorite is peanut butter cups. Okay, so wait, we gotta do chocolate chips because that's, have to do that. I can't with this mixer. <laughs> Calm down. That's still crazy. So we're gonna add what? Let's do peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups. Just peanut butter cups? Just, just hold on. You don't have to chop them up. This is gonna chop them up for you. Just put them on, come on. Who, who okay. am I kidding? What are the other things? Sea salt caramels. Yeah, yeah. those next. All of them? Yeah. Oh my God. This mixer is gonna hate me. Chocolate covered pretzels? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what else we got laying around? What about, ooh, sprinkles. <laughs> Hey, I think your cookies are trying to get out of the bowl. You know how much, okay, you know how much I love sprinkles? Yeah. I'm just gonna use my hand. Who am I kidding? Just, come on. This is... <laughs> it's edible cookie dough, it's gotta be fun. I got white chocolate chips too. I, I think we're good. Is that too much? That was where we killed it? <laughs> Once it stops fitting in the bowl. I'm just letting this stuff get crushed up a little bit more. Let my cookie dough go. Oh my God, this looks so good. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, well, this one fell out. <laughs> How is it? For a person who doesn't love cookie dough, it's pretty rad. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a really fun way to present this. Okay, so our cookie dough is done. I could use this in like little balls to put onto a cake or you could just, you know, eat it when you're sad. <laughs> but I wanna present it in a really fun way, so I'm gonna do it by stuffing ice cream cones and then dipping it in chocolate ganache and then maybe adding some sprinkles too. Did you have sprinkles? So the reason this is safe to eat yes. is because it doesn't have eggs in it yes. and heat-treated flour. Correct. Tricky. There's no raw ingredients. All 
Uh, hey, Joshua, you wanna hear some viewer comments and questions? I do. Awesome, okay. Tamara Marion Hi, says, Tamara. This question is about how you decide which product to use for different elements of cake. Okay. Fondant, gum paste, or molding chocolate? It's usually just preference. I mean, if you're sculpting something, definitely modeling chocolate, or if you want something to set really quickly, modeling chocolate. Fondant stays soft, or if you want it to, to harden up, it takes a really long time. So fondant is more for covering or making like little figures. And then gum paste would be more for something you want to dry hard like a sugar flour. Next question's from Amazing Llamas. Um, oh, okay, I mean, hi Llamas. Can I just have a <laughs> random shout out? You are my top five favorite YouTube. Okay, am I number one? Somewhere in the top five. Okay, yes, shout out to you, Llama. Is it uh, llamas? Is llamas, it? plural. Oh, llamas. Yeah. All right, shout out to all the llamas, yeah. Uh, especially I, uh, this one amazing llama. I I enjoy llamas, so yes. I would never shout at a llama yet, though. They seem very sweet, right? They're pretty chill. I would love to ride a llama. Can you ride a llama? I don't know. <laughs> You're I really like, want I'm to. We're going to find out. One way to find out. See, this is a fun way to like put this on a, I don't know, birthday cake buffet. Looks like melted ice cream, but it's cookie dough. And, and ganache, of course. Oh, we're not finished. There's gonna be sprinkles. I mean, come on. Why did you choose sugar cones instead of like the ultimate powerful waffle cone? This is already gonna give people a belly ache. If you did just like a regular cake cone, they could stand up on their own. But this is more fun this way. All right, let's finish this with some sprinkles. Sprinkles! I'm thinking about it and it sounds amazing. I mean, how cool is that? So that's it, thanks for checking out my edible cookie dough recipe. This is gonna be delicious! Oh, he used the word dough in the word. Dough, 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 dough. I guess someone should dip their finger in there while Josh was gone. Nothing happened. What, what happened? Nothing happened. Don't contaminate the cookie dough. I think you guys are all too cautious. Huh? I take raw chicken and dip it right into buffalo Stop. sauce and eat it. It's fine. So it's fine. He, he calls it chicken sushi. There's no raw ingredients. So technically, I could eat a raw omelet as long as I didn't use eggs and had heat treated flour. That wouldn't be an omelet. Okay, okay, I see where you're going with this. I'm just gonna dip this in chocolate and stop listening to James. 